whatever it is, failure will only happen if you let it happen. We're in Paris, uh, it's kangaroo time. We have Maya, we have Kika, and there's Roy, and there's Sass behind the camera. Listen, we're gonna produce something awesome. We're trying to figure out the little pieces because we had some setbacks, but we'll keep on going. All right, ready? All right, go. All right, perfect. Anything to say, Director Abdul? <laughs> uh, we're making shit happen. <laughs> Alors, on est à Paris et, euh, mange, euh, et on mange euh, pain au chocolat. It's not croissant au chocolat, ok? Apparently, there's difference according to my. Do you agree? Yeah. Well, they're all bad and chocolate. Do, uh, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I want to do it with the GoPro from the beginning till here. Do you know what I mean? Are you okay with that? GoPro on my head? Yeah, sure. I got this. Sure. How are you gonna take it? There. Okay, the idea is you go from her. And she's walking in front of you, the Tourayful, you see it? In there, and then she walks there. Okay, okay, I got it. Which angle you like better? I think here, around here. Yeah. Like basically check the app, wave. No, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Do the whole scene, wave, and then meet up there. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one, go! So we're out here to film a marketing project for a client of ours. I'm gonna give you the three tips that I learned that helped me make this project a success. So, a lot of things are happening. Where are we going? We're going to Paris. <laughs> we're hoping to get there. The flight got delayed. We got pulled out of the airplane. Things is a mess. I don't know if it's gonna make it. So I, I told the flight attendant, please tell the pilot I need to get off the plane right now because I need to be in Paris Monday night because Tuesday morning I have something very important that needs to happen. So I need to be, get off this plane right now. She's like, are you sure you want to get off the plane, sir? I'm like, yes, I definitely know that I need to get off the plane. So she went and talked to the pilot, the pilot makes an announcement, they bring us back to the airport. I'm running out to the, uh, to the airport help desk to get our flight situated while the model is trying to get the bags. I get into the help desk and the lady goes, well, I can't get you on the earlier flight, but I can get you on a flight that leaves at 10 p.m. and you'll, be, you'll make it to Paris Monday night. I'm like, perfect. Everybody else had to get off the plane because they had to basically refuel the plane. Meanwhile, I was being transferred to a plane to get on here. At the same time, to make things better, somehow our booking in Paris, it turns out we, were, we booked the whole room, we booked the whole uh, apartment 
three Airbnb. It was beautiful apartment, three bedrooms, all this kind of stuff. Uh, Airbnb calls me. He's like, hey, sir, this apartment is a fraud. So that means I don't have a flight to get here and I don't have a place to stay. In the same time, I got on the phone with another friend of mine. He's like, hey, listen, I need you to find me a hotel as soon as possible for three people in Paris in this location. Whatever it takes, let's make it happen. He got someone to find me the location. In the same time, I'm trying to figure out my flight. They ride us in. They put us on the, from a flight going from, Ger from uh, uh, D.C. to Germany, Germany to Paris. We get on the flight. In the same time, my friend texts me, hey, I found you a hotel. It was, it was great because right, on, uh, right in the middle of the place where we were shooting the commercial to tell the story. And uh, we got on a flight, we land in Paris, and uh, we pretty much made it happen. There's one point on the flight, I'm on the call with the airline, um, WhatsApping, texting my travel agent, and I'm texting the model who's sitting uh, like two seats down. Because there was like five things going on almost. And there's also the videographer coming from different locations to meet us in Paris, and the model already made it to Paris. So think about how much stress there was, but thinking if you take those like seven things all at the same time you're gonna fail but if you think about them one at a time and how they can connect with each other and knock them out one after the other you will able to manage a lot of multiple projects in the same time just put that focus lens on this one project one problem to get it solved give it what it needs then move to the second project then move this to the third project and move to the fourth project this is one of the key tips that I think about when I'm putting you know big pictures and then trying to think about bigger strategies how to move everybody forward to achieve the right goal so lesson from this is whatever it is failure will only happen if you let it happen that's my biggest takeaway the second thing is when you're thinking about management and managing people and managing time trusting people is big finding trustful reliable people is, is, is very essential but also what's more essential have backups because you are the only orchestrator and the planner of the production of the plan of whatever life plan you have if you lose control everything else will fall apart so the highest focus is on you to make things happen for that production for that project for whatever it is if you start thinking oh i don't know the we cannot do the project yes you're gonna fail but if you say oh the flight's gonna cancel let me check out what's the other flight the, you gotta have this mentality this mindset that whatever it takes by whatever it takes I mean instantaneously making decisions moving on to the fit the big picture so you might be moving on those small decisions but on the big picture you're moving because you're making those small decisions that help the big picture move does that make sense thank you for watching me why you're not getting customers because you're thinking about customers they're all equal and not all your customers are equal there's different temperatures in the buying habits of customers and most of you when you start your marketing campaign you're looking for what the hottest customer and the hottest moment that doesn't happen because it people when they discover you they don't buy from you the first time they see you they have to engage with you on multiple occasions to build relationship with you to buy from you so if you're thinking your marketing is not working guess why because you did not find the right customer who's ready to buy right now you might have found one who's going to be buying in a couple of months but you gave up on it because you did not invest enough time building the relationship what is the relationship is putting enough messages putting enough images putting enough videos about your product how is going to help that customer to come to you because once they buy your product their life gonna change Thank you